Well, Ed Lopez is in for Terry McDermott today, but last night you were out at the big fight. It was awesome. It was awesome. I mean, man, <laughs> you, you had to be there. I mean, it, it was fantastic. You know, sportscasters, sports writers are supposed to be impartial, but these were Albuquerque you were guys. Excited. This is the state of New Mexico. We, we were up there. He won for the whole state of New Mexico, and, and J Danny Romero did the same thing. And I'm still excited about it. Man, but what a night for Albuquerque last night in boxers Johnny Tapia and Danny Romero. Before a national television audience, Johnny Tapia became a world champion and Danny Romero won the NABF title. For Tapia, he overcame a three and a half year layoff due to drugs and he comes back to win a world title. A lot of people w have believed in him and stayed with him through thick and thin, including top ranked promotions matchmaker Bruce Trampler, who Johnny personally thanked after the fight. We've been How could you get it without you, Bruce? You did it, you did it with yourself, buddy. You Trampler said that Johnny was responsible for his accomplishment, and he's right. Over 8,000 fans showed up at the pit, along with a nationwide television audience to see Johnny win the world championship. And Tapia did not disappoint. He even led the cheering as he was fighting Henry Martinez. And Tapia, bound and determined, finally puts a game Henry Martinez away in the 11th round. Under a barrage of punches, Martinez goes down. He would not be able to continue. Johnny Tapia wins by knockout. He is the WBO super flyweight champion. I refused to go down. I looked at my grandpa, my manager, and said, and my wife, they just, I took them to hell, and I wanted to bring them back. And by popping up the crowd, you can hit me with anything because I'm not going down. This, this is a great moment, mostly for Johnny's sake. I mean, uh, my great moments have come when he beat his uh, outside activities. I mean, that was my great moment. But and taking the title that Johnny Tapia vacated to get a shot at the world championship was Danny Romero Jr. Romero made a successful debut in his first fight as a super flyweight when he came through with a sixth round technical knockout of Marcus Pacheco. Romero wins the North American Boxing Federation super flyweight title when Pacheco could not answer the bell for the seventh round. You know, I shined as bright as I could, and uh, this is this is everybody's shot. There's room enough for everybody here. And as you've seen, I just done as, as good as I could and put the best show on that I could. And and it's inevitable that Romero and Tapia will meet sometime in the future. We'll talk about those prospects tonight at 10 o'clock. The NBA preseason.